Hi guys, so let me just read something I read on the internet earlier. The FizzBuzz test is an interview question designed to help filter out the 99.5% of programming job candidates who can't seem to program their way out of a wet paper bag. Okay, so that is pretty harsh, but what it means is that we should definitely know how to solve the FizzBuzz problem. So what is the FizzBuzz problem? Uh, given a number as an input, we need to print out every integer from 1 to that number. So if we pass in fizzbuzz and we pass in 5, print out every integer from 1 to that number. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay. However, when the integer is divisible by 2, print out fizz. So what does divisible by 2 mean? Well, 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0.5 with a remainder of 0 0.5. 2 divided by 2 equals 1 with a remainder of 0. Okay, and 3 divided by 2 is equal to 1.5 with a remainder of 1.5. Okay, so when it's divisible by 2 it has a remainder of 0. This 1 is not divisible by 2, neither is 3, because they don't have remainders of 0. So that what we can use here is the modulus operator, which is this thing. And this essentially does 1 divided by 2 and uh, gives us the remainder. So this is just going to give us the remainder of 0 0.5. So it's going to be equal to 0 0.5. And if we do 2 modulus operator 2, it does 2 divided by 2, finds the remainder, which is 0, because 2 goes into 2. A solid one time. And 3 divided by 2, modulus operator, gives us a remainder of 1.5. Okay, so this is going to be useful in this challenge because this, this modulus operator is really useful for finding whether a number is divisible by another number. Okay, so yeah, so given a num number as an input, print out every integer from 1 to that number. However, when the integer is divisible by 2, print out fizz. When it's divisible by 3, print out buzz. And when it's divisible by both 2 and 3, we print out fizz buzz. Okay, so let's write a function called fizz buzz. It's going to take a number. And first of all, we're going to write a for loop. So we need to loop from 1 up and 2 up until the input number. So we're going to say for let i equals 1, so we're starting at 1, and for i is uh, less than or equal to the number, and we're going to plus 1 each time. Okay, so now the first run through, i is going to be equal to 0, uh, i is going to be equal to 1, sorry. So we need to do a check now, and first of all, we're going to check if it's divisible by both 2 and 3 okay because if we checked if it was divisible by 2 first it would print out fizz when real and but we need to check if it's divisible by 2 and 3 just in case we need to print out fizz buzz so we need to do this one first so we can check if i um, modulus operator 2 is equal to 0 and i modulus operator 3 is equal to 0. So if, it's divis if i is divisible by both 2 and 3, then we are going to console.log, let's see, fizzbuzz. Then we need an else if, and we're going to check if it's divisible by 3. So we're going to say if i is divisible by 3, we're going to console.log buzz. OK. And then again, another else if, and we're going to check if it's divisible by 2 this time. If it is, then we log fizz. And then finally, if it's not divisible by 2 or 3, 
then we can just log the integer. Okay, so let's test that out now. Um, let's see, we don't need to log it because we've got logs in the function. So if we pass in fizzbores, let's pass in six. So let's work through this now. So for the first loop through, i is going to be equal to one. One is not divisible by two or three. So therefore we skip all of this all of this and we log 1. Next run through i is equal to 2. i is divisible by 2 but it isn't by 3 so we skip the first two lines and we get to here. Yes it is divisible by 2 we log fizz. Next run through number is th i is equal to 3. Um, it's div 3 is divisible by 3 but not 2 so we come to here and we log buzz and so on and so on until we get to the very last number which is 6 which is divisible by both 2 and 3 and we log fizz buzz so it's a pretty simple uh, thing to solve it's something that you definitely should be able to do pretty easily I think because it's a sort of old fashioned uh, programming interview question I think that I think everybody sort of expects you to be able to solve so it's worth knowing I think so thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.